Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Thank you once again for tuning in. For the past few episodes we've been going through this Ashes of Ariandel DLC. And it looks like we have seen most of what it has to offer and have one last thing we need to take care of. And it's this... <sighs> Excuse me. This extremely difficult boss fight. Um, so that's what we're going to do today, and it might be a very boring episode because it's going to involve me dying a lot. But hopefully, with enough work, we can get it done and start moving on into the rest of the game. First, let's summon Slave Knight Gale once again. And, oh, got another summon sign here. Quality Samson. I don't... I'm pretty sure that's a player, not an NPC. I think I'm just going to try and stick to NPC. Um, NPC uh, just helpers for now. But we'll see how I do on these first few attempts. Because, um... Sister Frida, she is not messing around. We have gotten past this first phase exactly twice. Her during her visibility, we can stop the attack. How oh, that was delayed. be able to figure out like when she's gonna dodge after an attack sequence and when she's actually open and vulnerable. Oh Alright, get stamina back, don't tunnel. There we go. Drink. Okay, now this is some, this is a good sign. We defeated on our first try, so I think one strap I'm gonna try for this next phase. I'm gonna tr try and stay near them because I think when Gale was summoned, he just got obliterated by the AOE attacks they did when I was too far away from them. So uh, let's do that. We can also skip this cutscene. Can we skip this cutscene? Yes, we can. Okay. <laughs> Quite a bit. This might be a short episode. Wow, Gale's really putting in work. Oh, they're healing though. Okay, looks like we're done healing. Come on! Oh, we got it, guys. We did it. First try. It's a miracle. Wow, that was a cool thing you did. Titanite slide. Oh crap. Oh, really? It's not over? We got a Titan Ice Slab for our trouble, but. No, 
at least Gale's still here to help us. Let's drink. We've got plenty of Estus. Okay, I'll buddy. Stay alive. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Uh oh. Cool, this grab. Oh. Well, oh, that's cool. Get her. Is Gale still here? Oh no, what's happening? Ow, that hurts. Get up, get up. <laughs> Gale distractor. <laughs> I'll save you, Gale. Oh. Gale, you saved me there. That. Uh oh. Gale's down! It's just me, and she got me. Uh, I kept trying to roll away, but I was rolling towards her. <sighs> oh crap. I guess, uh. <laughs> it seemed my celebration was a little premature there. So, uh. Egg on my face. Well, <laughs> let's get going again. Okay. Let's try and see if we can maintain the stress from our recent attempt. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Yep, shielding will help that! Ow! Whence thou camest, for that is thy place of belonging. Not the best second attempt. That really seems to punish you for trying to keep a distance. Oh! I'll get her! Oh man! Return to the wall again. Games, for that is thy place of belonging. <sighs> That sucks. From just the wrong angle, the attack won't actually hit her and stop that attack. I'll just run into a wall like a dummy. 
<sighs> okay. Get greedy one with the openings we get. Yeah, let's just let's give up on that one. Did need those souls anyway? really a big help in that second phase. It looks like he could be a really good help in that third and hopefully last phase. Oh nice! I hit her during that delayed attack. There you are. Crap. Hmm. Gonna go invisible or nice backstab. Can we finish her off here? Yes, we can. Nearly flawless first phase. Okay. All right, Gale. Give me a hand here. That's bad. Drink. Oh, that's that's fire. Okay, nice. Nice. Whatever you did there, Gale, it's working. Distance can't keep letting him do those attacks. Crap, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Aw oh, man, oh, I was about to drink. Lame, I couldn't even see that attack of hers. <sighs> I'm getting better at that first phase. Whew. Heart's beating. Oh, can't forget this. Okay. All right, we gotta keep an eye on Frida. Her attacks are really going to be there. Drink, you idiot. <laughs> We're free to go. Where'd she go? She's invisible, I guess.
five uh, flasks left. Come on, let's do this. Black Flame Frida. Alright, let's keep that blocking mantra going. Just gotta pay attention to stamina economy. Alright, let's get her in a corner. Oh crap. No, move away! <laughs> move away, move away, move away! <laughs> oh, she's invisible. Some big cool attack. No, Gale! Don't leave me here! Don't leave me here with this crazy lady. for that last part. <sighs> Alright. This phase is really chaotic. With Gale's help. Stand near her as she revives. Whew. Got 11 flasks, nearly full health. But I can't let her do that big, big mean attack where she decapitates me. It's almost an instant kill unless I'm at full health. And Gale's dead. That's great. This is a great thing. That's a great thing to happen. Get out of there. I need a drink. Oh, she's winding something up. <laughs> Crap. 
decapitated. Ugh. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeesh. Oh, come on. Nope! Oh man. It's too late on that dodge. Get up. <laughs> Get up. This is bad. This is bad. Gail's help there for that last fight. Oh, man. Gosh. I mean, I guess Soul of Cinder was really hard, but I don't know, it didn't feel quite as exhausting as this does. Three phases, come on, from software. That's a real endurance challenge. Two Estus uses. Alright, let's try and see what happens when we focus on the area. Never mind, we're just right here. You dare heal. Like eight S's, you take two of mine. <sighs> Gale, no, that's bad. Crap. My own 
here. Oh man. She still has that attack. Crap. <laughs> oh crap. Please stop attacking for like a second. Drink, oh god. No! Ah, it's such a bad rhythm right now. Oh man, she was almost dead out of that hit! Keep trucking. I just needed one opening, one opening. But no, she did that big AoE attack that just uh, is nigh unavoidable. It is just so, so cruel with and frugal with its openings to actually attack safely. There's always some sort of compromise to damaging yourself. Uh, Full Estus. Clear hearts. Can't lose. What? Get up, get up! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Ah, it's a dumb chain reaction of unavoidable attacks. <sighs> and full Estus, too. Full, Est full Estus is useless against uh, <sighs> consecutive attacks like that. Death scenes. <laughs> okay. Go for this phase. Uh, don't get caught in consecutive AoE attacks. are bad. Cream drops are falling on my head. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I don't know the rest of the words. This is really bad. But that's good. I wish there was a way to check on uh, Ale's health. Standing on that fire probably ain't helping. 
Well, we don't have much choice other than to truck through these frame drops. Jeez. This is gonna be bad. Oh god. Gale. Uh, I wish you were smarter. Just have an attack sequence that's like never ending. Just got two sides. Which is cool. Which would be cool if it weren't so <sighs> demoralizing. Stop her! Not get carried away with attacking her. It's still got to be smart in avoiding her. That's a cool attack. Yeah, stay, stay focused on me, Frida. Not on your brother, Gale. Crap. Okay. Oh man. Oh, that's it. Really, no time at all to react to that. <sighs> Instant kill move. <sighs> I assume that sort of decapitation move happens from a unique stance like her previous uh, attacks like that, so I should keep an eye out. sure how much health that extra bit of health is going to be. Gale, you got to stay away. Stay away from your sister while she turns evil. Yeah, hey. Stay focused on me.
stay away from Gale. Nope, that's bad. Got to stop her in her tracks when she tries to do anything too lethal to Gale. Instant replay on that one to see what happened. <sighs> what what dirty trick did From Software pull out there? I am going to write a very stern letter to Hidetaka Miyazaki. Good thing I'm recording this, so I have evidence. Okay. That was dumb of me. Get out of the way. Well, let's just forget about that one. of embers. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Halfway down before Gale dies. That would be ideal.
crap. Oh, I can't move. <sighs> Move, get up! There's no function to the slow get up other than to humiliate you. Delayed attacks. Crap. Oh, wow. Drink. Oh, I'm dead. Not an Estus. At least I got to use all my Estus. There's no openings. There's no openings. Without Gale around to constantly stagger her attacks, there's nothing I can do. Every single point of damage I did on her was some sort of compromise that damaged me as well. <sighs> Such a complicated moveset, it's almost impossible to react to. Oh, come on! It's not sure which direction to dodge when she does that attack. If I dodge to the side, she still tracks and gets me. I think if I dodge backwards, she'll just keep the attack going until she closes the distance. So I try and dodge sort of forward into the side, but that dodge seems to just go straight into her.
really hurt. Get out of my face, Ariander. Remember my first attempt at this fight, and we got past this phase the very first time and I naively joked about how short this episode would be. Gosh, those are some times. really like to get this done this episode. I don't want to close things out early just because we hit the hour mark. That's what video editors are for. Get greedy. Return from whence thou camest, for that is thy place of belonging. <sighs> of course, that's the one attack she does when she's almost dead. so we can get some, like, really good critical damage on Arianda. I'm just not sure how. Oh, she's invisible. 
invisible. Oh, okay, and she's gonna heal. That's what her visibility does in this phase. go again. Good. At least Gale kept a distance that time. Goes Gale, oh well, crap. So if you can't stop that attack, then uh, Gale's done for. Don't move! Slightly fast enough to not give me enough frames to heal myself. That's so frustrating. <sighs> when she turned invisible there and killed Gale, I thought she was going to do those sort of icy AoE attacks first, and then that sort of that wind up attack. But um, she went straight up to the powerful attack and just gibbed Gale instantly. Let's see what focusing on uh, Ariandel does. You get behind him pretty easily. But if he actually lands an attack on us, it's really bad. Alright, I think he's gonna breathe fire. Pretty good openings on damage, always healing, I think. Tell. Crap. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> and Gale ties for good measure. <laughs> Focusing on Ariandel. 
shots him. Pretty good hits him. He wouldn't run away from me. No! <laughs> Don't keep attacking. Ever. That's nice. Alright. No, you don't. You will not kill Gale, like, immediately. There better not be a four phase. I swear to God, I will uninstall this game if there's any more fights after this. Oh. It's my head slamming against the desk. 158,000 souls. You know what? That's exactly how many I expect for that friggin' fight. All right, let's just take a second here. Whew, why the hell are there two bonfires right next to each other? That seems weird. Okay. Whew, breathing exercises. Whew. I was prepared to say that that was a really shitty fight, but I don't know, the endorphins that just released after I killed her uh, started to make me change my mind, but uh, damn, that is one hell of a fight. Whew. I don't know how, how, blech, 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 blech. I don't know how I would have done that without summoning Slave Knight Gale by myself, that, that, that would be a Sisyphean task. Whew. Okay, let's see what this soul says. And we'll close out the episode, because we are well past time. Uh, souls. Uh, my mind is mush right now. Soul of Sister Frida. Uh, show item info. Soul of Sister Frida, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Frida was the first Ash to enter the painting, but together with the good father, they chose Rot over Fire. Interesting. Let's get my souls back. <laughs> okay, I've got this 
bonfire. But we've also got this bonfire? Travel to the dreg heap. What's this little statue here? It's a statue. It looks like some sort of like sack is covering her face. And on the bottom here, it looks kind of serpentine. Huh. Hold on. Can you get a closer look? You can't really tell what's inside those scales. But yeah, it's definitely a a statue's face up there, sort of covered up, kind of hidden away. Anyway, the dreg heap. Is that something we've been before? I should have rested at the bonfire. Um... Well, this looks new. The drag heap. Now, is this still part of this DLC, or is this part of the new DLC, I'm wondering? Because if it's part of the new DLC, I think I might hold off. Oh my goodness. Oh, this looks like that twisted mass of buildings near the end of the game where we fight the... Yep, and it looks like that tree there is where the Soul of Cinder fight is. It's neat we actually get to go here. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. But here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone-amped hag? I've hmm. nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. It's quite the view. Keep your marvels intact, love. At least until I lose mine. <laughs> Actually jump down from there? That looks like kind of traversable terrain. Yeah, I see an item there in the distance. I've nothing for you, not a... Well, that came out of nowhere. You think an old stone-armed hag would be brimming with goodies? <laughs> I've none of that, not a smithereen. Doesn't have a lot. The split leaf great sword, whatever that is. A long handled great sword that made its way from a distant land, crafted entirely with steel, making it exceedingly heavy. Split leaf refers to the shape of the great blade and its resemblance to the veins of a leaf. Skill Wind Wheel. Spin weapon vigorously above head and sweep foes and transition with normal or strong attack for continued spin attacks, which whip up wind and gain momentum, strengthening subsequent attacks. Interesting. At the close of the Age of Fire, all lands meet at the end of the Earth. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. The great tide of human enterprise, all for naught. 
That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below, there's a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity, even now. Mutterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. At the close of the A Great, this. Cool. Keep your marvels intact, love. Hmm. At least until I lose mine. Don't think I wanna go here yet, because this definitely looks like the second DLC. This must just be a sort of a convenient way to travel from the two. So I think I'm going to go back, level up obviously, and uh, continue with the main game for a while. Maybe do a bit of research just to make sure this is the second DLC. But um, we've got plenty of content to fill out an episode here. I'll probably cut down some of those uh, weaker attempts. I'll try and keep all the more dramatic moments in. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that I'm glad to be over that hump and uh, on to more exploring. Hopefully we won't run into a brick wall boss like that for some time. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.